Party people, I'm back in the his Oh no. Knew it was wrong as soon as I said it. Sorry, that was terrible. Can I get a do-over? And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. In today's video, let's take a trip to Duckburg and talk about the mystery of Huey, Dewey and Louie's parents. So with no further ado, let's start. Have you ever wondered where Huey, Dewey and Louie came from? Everyone knows Donald Duck's nephews, but we have barely seen their parents and why Donald Duck is raising them. If you are wondering the same thing, then look no further, cause I have the answers. Or at least some answers. One thing we know for certain is that their mother is Della Duck. You may be familiar with Della Duck since she was one of the main characters in the remake of the DuckTales TV series. Della is Donald's sister and they are the children of Quackenmore Duck and Hortense McDuck, who is Scrooge's sister. Even though we have more information about her now, she used to be a mystery. The first time she was mentioned in a comic was in 1937, in a newspaper comic strip by Al Taliaferro. In that story, Donald receives a letter from his cousin, Della, who wants him to take care of her three kids. That was Huey, Dewey and Louie's first appearance, and because of their popularity, that story was later loosely adapted in a short animated film. In 1938, in the cartoon Donald's Nephews, we see Donald reading a letter from his sister, Dambella. So is she Donald's sister or cousin? And is her name Della or Dambella? Well, there wasn't any actual explanation until Karl Barks made a Duck Family Tree. Karl Barks was the creator of many, many Disney characters, including Jairo Girloos, Gladstone, and most importantly, the legendary Scrooge McDuck. Because of his importance as a creator, most fans consider Barks the creator of the canon Donald Duck stories, but Barks himself generally didn't really care about continuity issues, and he just wanted to make good stories. In 1950, he wrote Donald Duck's Family Tree, which was illustrated in 1981, by Mark Warden, and it's what I like to call the Barks Warden Tree. In that family tree, he disregarded any mention of the Ladakh in the past and named Donald's sister Thelma Duck, which complicated things even more. In 1991, Karl Barks retconned almost everything he mentioned in the first tree and made a new one, and this time he didn't even give a name to Donald's sister. Then, in 1992, Don Rosa created what many fans consider the official Duck Family Tree, as it's the most accurate. Don Rosa decided to combine all three possible scenarios for Della Duck and used her original name, made her look like she did in the Bark Squadron Tree, and made her Donald's sister instead of cousin, like in the cartoon. Rosa even used her in an actual story in which Scrooge McDuck's sister presents her children to Scrooge. We finally knew her name and the actual relation to Donald. But who was she? What happened to her? We had only seen her as a child and in the family tree, but we didn't know anything about her. But that changed in 2014, when Everett Gerrits and Maximino Tortajada Aguillar created a story to celebrate the anniversary of Donald Duck's first appearance. In that story, we finally got to see the reason behind Della's absence. She was a pilot who went missing after flying a new spacecraft, and that's the reason why we never see her in new stories. Gerrits even wrote a series of short stories about her childhood with Donald. However, since all of these creators didn't work for Disney but for other publishers like Egmont or Gladstone, can we actually consider their stories official Disney content? Well, as far as Karl Barks, Don Rosa, and Everett Gerrits are concerned, yes. In the DuckTales TV show, which was an actual Disney production, there were many episodes based on Karl Barks' stories, while in the new series, we even get to see Della Duck the same way Don Rosa depicted her and Gerrit's reason for her absence, though a bit different from the comic. Although we have some information regarding Della Duck, we don't know anything about Huey, Dewey and Louie's father. In the letter that Della sent to Donald in the 1937 comic strip, there wasn't a single mention of his name. However, in the Barks Warden Tree, we got to see how he looks, but still no name. In A New Family Tree by Don Rosa, his appearance remained the same, but still no name. 
However, at some point there was a misunderstanding because of an image of the family tree in which the father was named Jamie Hawkins. It turned out that Don Rosa had created a new family tree so that she could give it away to fans in Comic Cons and wrote each fan's name under the father. Jamie Hawkins was just the name of the fan that got to the family tree and uploaded it online. It wasn't the father's actual name. Even though we never learned more about the father, Don Rosa intended to create a story about him. In a page from Don Rosa's story, Return to Xanadu, that didn't make it in the final cut, the Great Lama tells Huey, Dewey and Louie that there is a secret in Tralala related to them. Don Rosa never wrote a story about the father and I'm not sure if there ever will be such a story. Because if Huey, Dewey and Louie found their father, then they'd probably stay with him and not Donald anymore. But if they didn't find their father, it would probably mean he's dead, which would be too sad for a Disney comic. I'd also like to mention a story that Don Rosa and Ray Fosse wrote back when they were teenagers, in which Daffy Duck is depicted as a father. But that story was just a parody and shouldn't be taken seriously. Although we don't know anything else about him, there have been some theories that he's Desi Duck's brother, but that's highly unlikely. You have all probably wondered at some point why Huey, Dewey and Louie live with their uncle for all these years. Well, in their first appearance in 1937, Della sends a letter to Donald saying that a firecracker exploded under their father's chair and she's sending them to stay with Donald while he's in the hospital. That could make sense because in their first few appearances, the nephews didn't seem to stay with Donald permanently, they just visited him from time to time. However, in the stories that Karl Barks wrote, the nephews seemed to live with their uncle, meaning that the firecracker wasn't the actual reason they're living with Donald. Maybe their parents just couldn't stand their kids anymore and left, or they died, but I don't think that's the reason. The most possible scenario is the one in the DuckTales series and the story by Everett Gerrits I mentioned before. Della Duck was a pilot who went missing after flying a new spacecraft, and that's why Donald had to raise the kids. In the Gerrits story, Della was flying at the speed of light, making time extremely slower for her, while others, including her three children, aged normally. In DuckTales, Della landed on the moon, but she couldn't return to Earth. She eventually managed to come back and meet her children in a very emotional scene. Huey, Dewey, Louie, meet Della Duck. Oh, I'm part robot, I knew it! <laughs> nope, I'm not buying. This has to be a trick, or, or a curse from Magicka, or a parallel universe, or... or uh, uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, we know why Della was missing, but what about the father? Wouldn't he raise the children while his wife was away? Maybe Della and the father weren't even married. Maybe she didn't know who the father was. But I don't think that something like that would happen in a Disney comic. If you want to know more about Della Duck, I'd recommend reading the story with the title shown on screen. Because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> but it was translated as Family Ties in a scan lace on a red and it's written by Evert Gerrits and illustrated by Maximino Tortajada Aguiar. Well, there are also many other Dutch stories featuring Della Duck written by Gerrits. I would also recommend watching the 2017 DuckTales, in which she is one of the main characters. Della has also made brief appearances in The Empire Builder from Cali Sota by Don Rosa and Donald's Nephews by Al Taliaferro. If you want to know more about the father, I'd recommend waiting. There's nothing. Well guys, this was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you can support me by subscribing, clicking the like button, and allowing all notifications. And as soon as more information about the parents emerges, I'll be there to cover it all, so stay tuned. And until the next time, goodbye true believers!